what hides beneath the shadows. We are strong, like the armor of a rhino. We are sharp like the instincts of a lion, and faster than a snake. You have a mission, and we have the tools. Pole Force. Well, what are we going to do? We're going to talk about Rambo. Rambo. Last Blood. Last Blood. Okay, so Rambo, Last Blood. You know, the movie knife, the MK8. Of course, this doesn't say Rambo or have pictures of him skipping across the field or anything like that. This is actually a real knife. A real knife. Uh, this is 9CR18 MOV steel, made in Taiwan, with a G10 handle, full tang steel, all that. Okay, so I've done a video on this, as well as the other movie knife, which had a my card, a handle, the MK9, which is way cool, way cool. Big, crazy, but the movie's big and crazy, so it's required to be big and crazy, just like all the other Rambo knives were. But somebody came up with a crazy idea of making it smaller and lighter. So, I mean, there was only so many of these produced. Uh, looks like there's only going to be so many of these produced in D2, okay? So, not 9CR. This is D2 as opposed to 9CR. And a lot lighter, too. You can take a look at my Instagram postings. Of course, I jammed this into the uh, into the railing on my patio. I don't know why I did that. Now I got a big mark in there. But uh, hey, this is this is a lot lighter, a lot more nimble in the hand than this is. Um, but let's pull this box away because this is the this is the box that the MK8 came in and I'm gonna get that out of the way just for right now just so we can kind of concentrate on these and we can take a look at the differences of course there's a difference in price too I'll give you a link to pole force uh, Detmer Pole, of course is the designer do I, I don't know if I need to jump back here he's a designer that designed the MK8 and the MK9 for the Rambo movie, Last Blood. Did I, I said that already? Okay, so this is, yeah, I mean, you know, I think when these came out, I, I, I think, I mean, you know, it's got to be big, it's got to be crazy for the movie, etc. But maybe not so much for practical everyday use, which is why this has come about. And this comes with a Kydex lined sheath. Okay, so it's very quiet going in. Oh, yeah, no rattle on that one. Uh, and there's a little lanyard thing here. And in the box, they threw in some lanyard cord, which uh, I guess you have, yeah, you got an opening there, just like you do here. And I'll take the scales off. You can see kind of where that cord goes. But it comes in this box here. Tactical 8, because that's what it's called, okay? MK8, Tactical 8, MK9, and oh, by the way, Tactical 9. So smaller, lighter, that kind of thing. There's a sheath for this dog right here. And so let's take a look at the differences here as far as, well, let's get it out first. Um, get the ruler on it and this one's a big dog of course you can just look online you can see all the specs on this stuff but basically you got eight inch blade you got well 13 three quarter overall right here not an eight inch blade for sure it's uh, under seven and it looks like about six and three quarter inch or yeah six six and seven eighths which is about uh 17 and a half centimeters and i think they say that on their stuff and then 12 and a half so 
uh, smaller that way. And then let me see if I can get a weight on them with this scale. Otherwise, we'll just have to go to the spec sheet and get the weight on it. Okay. Um, you know, 13.16 ounces at 373 grams. Where this one is almost 550 grams at uh, ounces uh, 19.32 so 19 to 13 that's six ounces lighter and that's a big difference in weight or at least it feels like it in my hand so uh, big difference in size big difference in weight the balance feels good on here you got to go forward position uh, for closer or more controlled cutting if you need it uh, of course, the design is the design. Uh, I like this design, uh, so it's good for me and good with me. You got a thumb ramp here with jimping on it. Okay, you've got this guard here, so you won't slide forward. And will it cut anything? I don't know. Let's see if we can get some junk paper out here. Okay. Oop, you got to touch the paper first. Okay, got to touch the paper first. Okay, yeah, it feels really sharp. All right, yeah, not bad at all. So, a lot lighter, smaller, more nimble, comes with a sheath. Uh, how many are going to be available, I don't know. Of course, the whole background here is that um, there was knives that were made by Lion Steel, and I, I, now I can't remember how expensive they were. There was a small run of them that were these size, and they were like, I think they were close to $1,000 or more a piece, okay? And then came these production knives that Detmer took charge of, and... Um, so these are a lot less expensive and you can check this out online as well, I forget. And you can look at my previous uh, video on that too. These are like 245 euros, something like that. So check it uh, on the link and take a look. But yes, uh, I'd say, you know, <laughs> of course compared to a thousand dollars or whatever it was, because uh, it was priced in euros, and I kept thinking that equaled more than a thousand. But um, yeah, this being uh, much more affordable and actually usable, maybe way more so than something like this. And I think this would be more something like I'd want to put in a display case. And this would be maybe more like what I'd want to take out and about. You know what I mean? So for usage in that in that way, let me grab my calipers if I can find the damn things. Here they are hiding from me. Um, uh, let's take a look at the spine. Yeah, quarter inch uh, steel, six millimeters. Okay. Um, 24.2. Let's get the highest spot, which is right up here. 24 about 24 millimeters at almost an inch okay almost an inch 0.94 um i don't think there's a lot of difference there no there isn't no no difference in the thickness of the blade stock pretty much six millimeters and overall it's thinner this is a little over an inch okay at almost 27 millimeters here for the high point so um you know more width here uh but the blade steel is the same thickness overall this one yes so should be pretty sturdy uh of course they hardened this area here too as well especially for whatever you know impact striking something uh, you could probably bury that in a tree stump. That is, that's pointed. That'll make a point too. And then, uh, you know, I'll, I'll pull these uh, scales off and you can take a look at the knife beyond there. 
and I keep thinking this is the side of the knife, yeah, that unscrews, because don't try the other side, uh, and I'll show you why. Okay, there's just one side that's going to break loose on this. There's, see, there's threads here, okay? My camera's backed up so far because the knife is long, but for this, it needs to be a little closer. And it's black, and you can get this in stone wash as well, uh, you know, other than this black coated. Let me see if I can get this off. There we go. Okay. Okay. So these pieces that come through from the front, from the presentation side, okay, they're squared off. They're not going to turn, okay? So don't try and turn these. It ain't going to work, okay? And let's uh, pull this off with that piece in there. And that's what it looks like. I guess you can run your lanyard through here. And then uh, it comes, you know, it's going to come out through this machined area here. So it'll, it'll clear. And let's see how that works together when these are lined up. If I can see through my camera adequately. Okay, see how that works? And you can see light through this area here where that lanyard's going to go. So you can put a lanyard on there. And by the way, they do. And let me move this out of the way real quick. Got a lot of workspace took up here. Uh, <clears throat> Just paper. Um, you know, they give you a piece of land. You're like, like you couldn't get your own. Yeah, you can, and that's fine. There's your certificate of authenticity. And uh, let's see what the paperwork says here. They are saying, you know, don't turn it on this side. Turn it on this side, like I just told you. I found out for myself, actually. I only put so much pressure on a screw, and then I go, eh, try on the other side. And so flip to the other and there you go. So, and there, as you see, the lanyard goes through and quit looking at pieces of paper, right? Get them out of here. So, yeah. And now, you know, it's, you could cord wrap it if you wanted to. Not a bad idea. That might be interesting. I might try that sometime. See what that'd be like. I'd like to put some camo paracord on here. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, you could do that. And then lace it out here and then run it on out for a lanyard uh, if you wanted something like that. So you could do that. Of course, you know, you could take this off whenever and then lash this to a pole to use it as a spear or whatever in that regard as well. So and if any really technical guys are really care or interested, let's weigh it out without the scales. Okay, so 9.75 ounces at 276 grams. So that gives you an idea of just the skeletal weight of this. Okay, so as we go, where's the squared off spot? Okay, it's right there. So we got to face this slightly backwards or facing back it, on this uh, piece and you know what the hell with it just put it here and I know last time I reassembled uh, scales on the others they were like that too but it was fun finding oh, okay fun finding my way on that and so we can go just like this let's throw this in here get something started get the party started here so if you got a screwdriver, you can do this. And then let's not tighten it down too far. Let's get ourselves together with this. And that's a squared off facing the forward part too. So let me not get out of camera. There we go. Okay. Like I said, I had to kind of feel around for it. Tighten it down a bit. Tighten this down. And we're back together. So uh, make your comments, I guess. Uh, if it's not for you, it's not for you. That's okay. Uh, this is uh, 
the design for the Rambo Last Blood movie. And of course it was made in this size, this configuration, this kind of weight and all this. So this is way cool, but this is going to be more of a looker for me, you know, kind of a keepsake on the fact that uh, Detmer Pohl actually went and manufactured some other than the movie knife, you know, the movie knife made in China of 8CR13, okay? This, not the official, doesn't have Rambo graphics or on it, but it's his knife, okay? Um, so this is actually more true in my mind to the movie because it, you know, the real movie knife didn't have Rambo graphics on it, but it didn't say anything on, on the blade. But pull force, and this is true to the movie, and of course made of much higher quality materials. And then this, uh, as well, D2, higher quality materials, but more of an actual user, light, lighter weight, more nimble uh, knife. And, you know, the blade looks like it'd be very usable for a lot of things. Uh, that you might want to do uh, with an outdoor camping, bush crafting kind of knife. So just thought I'd give you the update on it. You know, it comes in this kind of box. You can get it online. I'll give you a link to his site. Uh, you know, most of his knives are very tactical in nature. And of course, pole force, tactical knives. Um, and you know, first responder, military, that kind of thing. And of course, this being no exception, okay? So, really cool that they have done this. Uh, you know, I wish the other Rambo knives, when they came out, they weren't just United Cutlery. We could have had an actual real run of production knives that would have been in higher grade materials, but that didn't materialize. Um, and then, of course, we've got the MK9, which is equal to this, both the movie type knives, and then, you know, the tactical nine. So you can see them all laid out here. How about that for a way cool quad? I'm gonna leave you to it. Thank you so much for hanging out, but uh, I'm gonna do a separate video on this, on the tactical nine versus the MK9. And of course this tactical eight, MK8, check it out, pull force. You know what we do. We love them knives. So you guys, stay sharp.